Hey y'all, it's Steffi and welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do something a little bit different. I wanted to start a series called Tip Tuesday where I share just a quick tip. Maybe it's not super quick because y'all know me, I'm not quick at things all the time. Anywho, whenever I get the chance, I want to share just a little bit of different type of content on my channel on Tuesdays. Quick tips that I am currently enjoying or that's helping me out in my life. That's why y'all are seeing me on a Tuesday instead of my regular schedule, which is Thursday and Sunday. I was over on my Instagram stories telling y'all about how I had used PowerPoint to screen record for my Excel videos, which I will link here in the cards for y'all. If you already have Microsoft Office products installed on your computer, then more than likely you already have PowerPoint. So I'm gonna share with you guys how to use PowerPoint to screen record for videos that you wanna put here on YouTube. I love finding multi-purposes for anything. It really excited me, so I hope you guys enjoy this little tip. Let's jump right into the video. All right, y'all, so here is how you screen record using your PowerPoint point program. What you'll do is go to this insert tab right here at the very top and you're going to go over to the right where it says screen recording. You're not already screen recording which is what I'm doing right here as you can see. It'll be able to be clicked on. So once you click that this up here will pop up. I've already selected the area, so this is why I can't click on it now. When you crop pictures, it's gonna come up with a very similar type of like dragging option. So I like to just select the entire screen that I have. My particular monitor is a widescreen monitor, so it's already got that aspect ratio that's good for when you upload videos. I would just suggest selecting the entire screen that you have and then when you go into post-production when you're editing your video you can fix that so once you've already done that so you're gonna press over here on the left it's gonna say record and it's gonna have this red button so once you're ready to start recording you press record it's going to start counting down so it's gonna go three two one right here and then once it's counted down it's starting to screen record Another thing I wanted to talk about was audio. So what I'm actually recording on right now is an external microphone. So this is the blue Snowball external microphone. I've had it for several years. I used to do voiceovers on some of my videos and I still do every now and then. I'll plug in my external microphone before I even start my PowerPoint program. I don't mess with any of this honestly. When I just press screen recording and if I have an external mic already connected, then this button here will be able to be pressed. It's not absolutely necessary to have an external mic. You could have like a headset that'll work as well. I would definitely recommend testing it out first before going full blown into whatever you're trying to screen record because you know, you're going to get frustrated if you record something and there's no audio there. So let's say you don't have an external mic. The other option, which I have done, I would use my vlog camera or you could even use your phone and record a video of yourself or just near you so it picks up your voice as you talk and then you would end up putting those two videos together. It's kind of confusing, let me show you guys. So right now I'm in my editing software and so I use Movie Studio Platinum. Every editing software is going to be different so it really just depends on what you have, the gist of it. So I have the screen recording at the top and then I have the video all just for the audio. It didn't matter what I was looking like. I am using only the audio of that. So you see the screen recording file, there's absolutely no audio to it because I didn't have an external mic connected to it. And so it's not necessary to do that. I press Control Z to undo, see? Control Z, you can use that anywhere, pretty much in Windows. So recording myself on my camera, you can do this on your phone or on your vlog camera or whatever you have. All you're using is here is the audio. When you press the screen recording button, it's gonna count down three, two, one. I typically like to have my camera already running and I will just count down, say three, two, one, go. And then when I say that, it's so I know, okay, I need to make sure I start there. And then at that point, for the most part, and it's a little bit harder because you wanna make sure you like kind of line up the audio. As you saw, you can actually be screen recording whatever it is that you're doing on your computer. It doesn't have to just be in PowerPoint. I just started recording again. I didn't reselect the area. So if you just start recording again after having stopped screen recording, then it's going to remember 
the screen area that you had selected originally, created a new slide for this second recording, but the first recording is here in the first slide, and you wanna make sure you save this down. Otherwise, you're gonna lose what you just screen recorded, and that, that would not be good. Clicking on top of the actual file itself, so I click the right button on my mouse, and I'm gonna go down here to save media as. I'm gonna save it there. And now when you open it up, you can see it saved it as an MP4 file, which is what you want. All right, y'all, so that is how you screen record using a PowerPoint. I know, super easy and simple. So if you guys enjoy this Tip Tuesday, please be sure to give the video a thumbs up so I know to keep on doing them. Don't forget to be a part of the Subby fam because we would love to have you, and I'll talk to y'all in my next video. Mm -hmm.